Hello and welcome to today's session. Today's session we are looking at leukocyte recruitment. So uh, leukocyte recruitment is the process by which white blood cells, white blood cells are recruited from the bloodstream, okay, from the bloodstream to the tissues at the site of where the infection may be or inflammation or the injury. Leukocyte recruitment process is also referred to as leukocyte extravasation or diapedesis. Okay. This process is very critical component of the body's immune response and serves to combat infections, remove damaged tissue, and promote healing. So this process uh, consists of seven steps, starting with number one, which is margination. And uh, in this initial step, leukocytes or white blood cells start moving closer to the vessel wall and um, which is the lining uh, lining of the white, the blood vessels okay so the, this movement brings them near to the site of infection or inflammation the key players involved in this step are the endothelial cells that line the blood vessels and the leukocytes circulating in the bloodstream Second process is selectin mediated rolling. It is rolling that is mediated by selectins. So after leukocytes have moved closer to the vessel wall, they begin to roll along the inner surface of the blood vessels. So this rolling is made possible by the interaction between two players, the endothelial cells which express selectin molecules and leukocytes which have selecting ligands on their surfaces. So this rolling action is like cars rolling along a track, okay, until they get somewhere where they can be able to penetrate or a point of weakness. Okay, step number three is activation and ad adhesion. So during this step, uh, chemokines, which are the signaling molecules, are released at the site of inflammation. So these chemokines activate intergreens on the surface of the rolling leukocytes. So intergreens are like molecular adhesives that allow the leukocytes to firmly stick or adhere to the endothelial cells. The players here are the chemokines and intergreens. The diapedesis is also referred to as transmigration. So once, once firmly adhere to the endothelial cells, leukocytes extend the pseudopods, and pseudopods are thin finger-like projection. So these pseudopods help the leukocytes squeeze or migrate through gaps that are created between the endothelial cells. So junctional proteins, they do play a crucial role in creating these gaps. Think of it as leukocytes racing through an opening in a barrier. The fifth step is chemotaxis. In this step, leukocytes move in response to the chemical signals called chemokines. Remember, chemokines act like a GPS system. Uh, GPS system. So this guides the leukocytes towards the precise location of where the infection or inflammation or injury is. Remember, the major players at these steps are the chemokines that guide leukocyte to the right directions. Number six step is phagocytosis. So once the leukocytes have reached the site of infection, inflammation, or injury, and this one we are talking of especially the neutrophils or macrophages, they engage in phagocytosis. Phagocytosis is like eating mechanism where they engulf and digest pathogens such as the bacteria or the debris. Yeah. So this the players here are the the phagocytes okay lastly we have resolution and repair so after the immune response has effectively dealt with the threat the final step in uh, involves re in a re inflammation and initiating tissue repair so anti-inflammatory mediators like uh, nipo nipoxins and resolvins help calm the immune response. So growth factors stimulate the tissue repair and regeneration. So these molecules collectively work to clean up the aftermath of the immune battle and ensure healing begins. So in summary, uh, leukocyte recruitment is a highly coordinated process that involves a sequence of steps. It allows the white blood cells to travel from the bloodstream to the site where the infection, inflammation, or injury occurred. 
So this can help combat the pathogens and promote, promote healing. Thank you so much. And those are the steps of leukocyte recruitment, margination, rolling, adhesion, diapedesis, chemotaxis, phagocytosis, and resolution and repair.